Hey guys, and welcome back for another video. Today I wanted to do a super fun video and wanted to test out this knitting loom. I'm not sure why it's called a knitting loom because it's not. It is clearly a pom-pom maker, but I'm gonna try it out. I got it over on eBay for super cheap. I will have links in the description box for this device if you're looking for it. Um, this is just a super cheap one, so, you know, it felt cheap. Um, but I just wanted to, you know, just give it a go and then thought you might want to, you know, see how they work because up until now I've only ever used like, you know, a circle of cardboard and made it myself. Um, so this is the second to largest one that I'm making and there's four arms that come out. So two on each side of the circle. So you're going to pull out two of the arms. And then you're going to start winding your yarn around the two arms at the same time. And you're going to do that as much as you want. So I noticed that you're not going to want to do it too much because you have to close the two arms and it's going to go in between these two white pieces there. So you just want to make sure that it is not so much that it won't fit to be able to close it. Um, but then you just take the yarn and then you switch it over to the next two arms that you pull out and then you keep winding around that one. So super easy. I'm not super great on the wrist though. If you have any carpal tunnel issues, I found that it was a little bit exhausting. I think it's just the way that you have to hold the device. Cause I mean, I've made a pom pom wreath before and I don't ever remember my wrist bugging me this much because it was just a smaller thing to have the cardboard in your hand but for this thing it's kind of this bigger type contraption so if you have any wrist issues that might be a problem but if not then it wasn't that horrible so now that I have both sides of my pom-pom wound um, there's just a little you know groove there where you're gonna stick the blade of your scissors in and then you're gonna snip all of your yarn so I was actually quite surprised that I could get my larger scissors in there because people were telling me that you need like some good sharp little scissors. So that was good. And now you're just going to take another piece of yarn, a longer piece, and then you go in to the crack there and then just kind of wind it around and do a knot and then wind it around a couple more times and then do a knot. And if depending on the yarn you're using, you might want to use a stronger yarn because I have used yarn before and tied a knot and then like, you know, you really tie it, you gotta tie it tight and then, then it snaps. <laughs> so, um, but I didn't have too much problem with this yarn. I think it's from Vanna White actually. I've had it forever. And then now I'm like, okay, so now what? <laughs> you open up the two arms and I'm like, this is not coming apart. So. Finally, I cracked it open. Um, luckily, I did not break it, but I sure as heck thought I did. It felt like it, like it felt like it didn't want to come apart. But I was actually pleasantly surprised at how uniform it was. I did have to snip off a few longer ends, but other than that, you know, I'm pretty excited about this product and I will definitely be using it again in the future. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I hope you guys again are staying safe and healthy during this time and hopefully this is just a little bit of a break that you can just you know hang out with me and see what i'm doing you know just kind of keep your mind off things so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next tutorial bye guys